the Annunciation, Visitation, and Magnificat of Mary. The announcement of our Lord's impending birth by the angel Gabriel to Mary, followed by Mary's visit to her cousin Elizabeth, and then her words of praise and exaltation to the Lord, often called the Magnificat, are some of the most precious parts of the Nativity story. They've been lovingly rendered over and over by master artists with great care through more than seven centuries. Let's take a look at some of those classic paintings by the masters as we listen to Mary's story and her beautiful words from the first chapter of Luke. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly perplexed at what he said and kept considering what kind of a greeting this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Listen carefully. You will conceive in your womb and give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and eminent, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Israel forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mary asked the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin and have not been intimate with a man? Then the angel replied to her, The Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, literally the breath of the Holy God of glory, will come upon you, and the power of Ha Elion, the Most High, will overshadow you like a shining cloud in the Holy of Holies. For that reason, the child shall be Hakadosh, holy, and be called Ben HaElohim, the Son of God. Furthermore, your relative Elizabeth, who has been called barren, has also conceived a son in her old age and is now in her sixth month. For with God, nothing is impossible. Mary answered, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left. Then Mary hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But who am I to be so favored that the mother of my Lord should visit me? As soon as the sound of your voice reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. How blessed is this woman who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has lovingly regarded the humble state of his servant. And from this time on, all generations will count me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is upon those who stand in great awe of him from generation to generation. He has done mighty deeds with his powerful arm. He has scattered those who were proud in the attitudes of their heart. He has brought down rulers from their thrones and has exalted those who were humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty-handed. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever just as he promised our ancestors. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home 